Hello, welcome to Todd Miller TV. Um, I'm going to do a market update for May, even though the month's not completely over. It'll be over in a couple days. So, um, anyway, so I've got some interesting numbers for you. If you've been following these every month, you're going to sort of see a trend. Um, so, right now, uh, the big talk is that there's no inventory. There's none. That's what people say. There's none. You have to put a ton of offers in all the houses. And that's true and not true, and I'll explain why. Okay, so first let's talk about the total number of houses that are on the market. When I mean on the market, I mean available for purchase or under contract. Because we have to count the under contracts, because what that represents is somebody who successfully was is under contract on a house. And a third of those fall out. So we're going to go with the overall number. So the overall number, according to the MLS, and this doesn't include new home sales or stuff happening outside the MLS, is 21,614. 21, 1,614. So you're probably saying, well, wait, I heard there were no houses. I heard that, well, hold on, we're going to get to that because that's, um, that's a different subject. Okay? Um, total houses that, have, that are available, uh, there's 5,382, so about a quarter. So you have all these houses, a quarter of them are available, three quarters are under contract. All right? Now, how does that look at what's listed in the last month and what is... Um, sold in last month. Well, in the last month, there were 3,480 sold, closed properties. Okay, So that means that of these 21,000, it's taking about six or seven months to absorb all the houses. So the absorption rate is arguably somewhere between four and six months, probably, which is not bad. That's pretty normal. Um, we actually have twice as many houses on the market. That 5,400 number is twice as many as it was in 2004 at the busiest uh, point of the market when the homes were disappearing even quicker. Okay, And over the last 30 days, there were roughly 3,000 new homes came on the market. So they're being absorbed. They're coming on the market. So you're probably saying, wait a minute, Todd. I've heard AB 284. It's destroyed everything and blah, 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 blah. Well, you're, you're, it's, it's misleading, and this is why. Okay, Let's imagine that you have been looking online for six months or a year or you bought a house a year ago and now you've decided you want to go buy another one. So you've decided that you only want to buy a three bedroom, two bath house and you don't want to pay more than 60 grand or 70 grand and you found a nice area and you got a house for 65,000 and it was a great deal and you want to buy another one. So you go search in that area in that price range and you find no houses. Meaning you go, okay, everything under 80,000, a three bedroom, two bath that was built since 2000, you find you know, three houses. And you go, oh my God, the houses are gone. AB 284 ate them. It, 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 it jumped out from its hole and it gobbled up the houses and the houses are gone. Well, that's not really true. Because remember, I just said there are 5,380 houses available to be purchased. What happened is your search criteria, all the houses appreciate it. They're not in it anymore. So what happens is you have this search criteria that's here. But then all the houses are now up here. So you're not seeing them. So they appear to be not there. Now you're saying, well, wait, Todd, I'm an investor and I have 53. I was told by the agent there were 53 offers on the property. Yes, and this is why. Because everybody's searching right here. Remember, all the houses are listed up here. Everybody's searching right here and there's one house there. So guess what everybody does? They put an offer on the one house that's you know, underpriced or under listed under market value. Everyone jumps on the smoking deal. Everyone wants the best deal. Everyone, no one wants to just go buy a house. They just want a deal. So you have a lot of people targeting the same couple hundred houses. You know, I'll, I'll bet there's probably two or three hundred houses out there that everyone is writing offers on. The same two or three hundred, and the other five thousand and change people aren't putting offers on. Um, I just did an MLS search. We have 80 houses available for purchase in our company that are not under contract. In, some of them probably do have some offers on it. That's correct. But um, there is inventory out there. So the important thing is, is to, you know, the, the information you're hearing is anecdotal information. Now, the people that are saying that there's no houses for sale or they're hard to get or whatever are the same buyers and real estate agents who are only looking at what a home, home sold for in the past. Yes, if you want that $50,000 house, it's gone probably. It doesn't exist. It, it was, you have to go back in a time machine to last year to buy that $50,000 house. 
That doesn't mean the houses are gone. That house is just worth more now. So if you go in the MLS, if you're you know with it, you're working with an agent or whatever, tell your agent what you want and just say, don't worry about the price and just see what comes up, okay, and go from there. Uh, people had no problem paying $300,000 for a three-bedroom, two-bath house that would get about twelve or thirteen hundred bucks a month rent. But today, that they want, you know, if it's over a hundred, they say forget it. It's too much. So, you know, I just want to put things in perspective with you. Uh, there are still deals out there. We know that there's still foreclosures. We know that there's still an inventory that that, that is coming. Is AB two eighty four a factor? Yeah, maybe a ten or fifteen percent factor. It's it it hasn't even we haven't even really seen the full effect of it. We're seeing the leading edge of it. But that's not what's causing this. What's causing this is buyer demand is picked up. Um, there's more loan programs out there. Uh, the short sales are getting done quicker. And um, you know the banks have this inventory that they can't get through. They just can't push them out fast enough. They don't have enough capacity to do that. We have the capacity on our end to absorb them. They don't have the capacity on their end. And when they do come out, guess what? They're higher priced. So, what I want you to take away from this market update is prices are rising in Vegas. I want you to go back six, eight months ago and look at some of my videos where people said, Todd, I need to buy everything under market value because the market's going to fall. And I said on video that prices would go up. Prices are going up just like I said they would because we're seeing the leading edge. We still see the leading edge of this. Prices are still going up. You know, Houses are selling for more than appraised value, et cetera, et cetera. So uh, the outlook is if you're buying, it's probably it's probably a good time. It has been. Uh, I'll say it's a good time now. I'll go back and say nine months ago, it was a great time. Meaning nine months or a year ago, you should have bought everything you could get your hands on because they're all worth more. Uh, will they be worth more in a year? I think so. I'm personally still buying when I, when I see opportunity. Um, rents are still strong. So anyway. Uh, that is my market update for the Las Vegas real estate market for May of 2012, and I just wanted to share that with you. Um, hope to see you on another video. Thanks.